Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this purple dotted manicure and I've had a lot of requests lately for kind of an easier tutorial so I thought I'd try my hand at this. I've seen several different versions in different colors but as many of you guys know purple is my favorite color so that's what I chose and while it may look complicated right off the bat it really is super simple to do with just a couple different sizes of dotting tool and a few different shades of polish. So if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. I'm going to start by just briefly going over the colors with you guys. First, for my base color, I'm using Julie. And I went ahead and already applied two coats of that, as you can see. Then for the larger dots, I'm going to be using Julianne, which is very dark but does have kind of a you know brighter shimmer to it. Stevie, which is actually one of the pixie dust colors, but I will be, you know, top coating it so that it does not have the matte effect. And Mira, and that's just a medium purple cream. Then for the smaller dots, I'm going to be using Monica, which is a darker purple cream. Hope, which is kind of a almost metallic shimmer and Aretha, which is kind of a purple chrome kind of finish. And the dotting tools that I'm going to be using are my kind of largest dotting tool and then one of my smaller ones, although it's not the smaller size. And you guys can really use any color that you like and you certainly don't have to stick with all the same brand like I did. I just kind of had my Zoya box open and realized I had a lot of purples. And this is actually probably not even half of the purple Zoyas that I own. So I'm just going to start out by getting some of Julianne out on a piece of scratch paper. And then I'm just going to start placing some larger dots on the bottom and along the sides of my nails and you don't have to or necessarily even want to place them in exactly the same spot on each nail uh, you don't even have to do the same number on each nail just so that you get some of the darker color uh, kinda just to start out with and I'm gonna continue this with all the colors and then I'll be back. I've completed all six layers of dots. You can see some overlap and you know if you don't want them to overlap that's personal preference and you can certainly place them so that they don't overlap. To smooth everything out I'm just going to finish it off with top coat and like I usually do I'm going to be using sesh feet. So here's the finished design and remember if you don't have a dotting tool don't let that stop you. I'll include a link to my what if I don't have a dotting tool video where I show you some other things you can use. But let me know what you guys all think of this design, what color you might choose to recreate it in, and as always, thanks for watching.